And there are disturbing new details tonight in the death of a young black man named Elijah McLean. A group of medical and legal experts looked into his death following a confrontation with police in Aurora, Colorado in 2019. And their report has just been released. Here's CBS's Omar Villafranca. I have a right to stop you because you're being suspicious. The independent report out tonight says Aurora, Colorado police did not have the right to stop, frisk, or violently restrain Elijah McClain in August 2019. Uh, no, I am an introvert. Please respect the boundaries that I am speaking. Relax. Stop. Relax. Stop. I'm going home. Relax or I'm going to have to change the situation. Police put the 23-year-old in a neck hole. Yeah, breathe correctly. And according to the report, EMS administered a ketamine dosage based on a grossly inaccurate and inflated estimate of Mr. McLean's size, adding that higher doses can carry a higher risk of sedation complications, for which this team was not clearly prepared. McLean suffered cardiac arrest and later died in the hospital. No justice, no peace! His death sparked outrage amid a summer of protests. He was loved and he is very missed. He's missed. Oh my God, he's very much missed. Lowane Mosley is Elijah's father. What is your version of justice? Uh, like? Fire. They shouldn't be police officers, shouldn't be paramedics. I think you should go to jail. You killed a young man. Should be held accountable. The Aurora City Council is planning a virtual meeting tonight to discuss the findings of that report. Meanwhile, the state attorney general is asking a grand jury to look at that case and decide whether to charge those three officers. Nora? Omar Villafranca, thank you.